I recently got engaged last year in uh, in June um, to my fiance, and this was for us, right? This was something that uh, we're going to start to build our future with, right? Build a family, maybe even, right? It was slated to be a massive development. Three condos here right along Highway 7 near Jane Street and Vaughan. Just a stone's throw from the brand new TTC Vaughan Station. Though it wasn't meant to be, it was called Cosmos Condominium. The slogan was the future is here, but nothing could be further from the truth today. We spoke with two separate people who were just some of the hundreds who put deposits in to the sold out condominium complex, which was to be built right here behind me back in 2016. Now, the two people we spoke to today both put their life savings into those deposits and into a development they thought was rock solid. I uh, put about uh, 60k down, uh, bought a one bedroom plus den um, with a parking spot as well on the ninth floor uh, and uh, the total cost was something around $330,000 for the unit uh, and now those same units are somewhere around uh, $400,000 plus uh, so it seems like uh, now that we're getting our deposits back we've been priced out of the market to be able to purchase the same kind of unit uh, at a comparable price. At the helm of the project is Liberty Developments. Their website notes that they have over 30 years of experience. What were you told by the developer when you were looking to, to purchase? Uh, I was told that um, this would be a great investment. So they reassured me that um, in, in a couple years' time when, when I do move in, um, my investment will be worth a lot more than what I paid. In the letter which hundreds of people received, it states that we are advised by the project vendor that at this time, financing for the project on terms satisfactory to the vendor cannot be arranged. It's a bit of a funny sentence. What do you think that actually really says? Satisfactory to the vendor means they can get more money by putting the place back on the market at higher prices. Unfortunately for buyers, pre-built condos can be cancelled for a long list of reasons and it's all completely legal. A spokesperson for the developer sent City News this statement that reads, the cancellation of all purchaser agreements was made solely due to the inability to secure satisfactory construction financing. It goes on to say in part that despite the project's sales success, the decision was made by the vendors.